Hello everyone. So as we have painted the texture now, what I will do, I will just select this part, go to color and just click over here and just put that particular texture. And now I will just go to this part and will open the same. As you can see, we have painted and all the things is just lined up quite well, like this way. Okay. So now I have the top part. So I will just select this and will go to UV and UV editor. As you can see, we have the top part which is just lying over here. So I'll go to UV and just select this one. Put it somehow here. This one we don't require. It. So what happens? We'll just select this part. Okay, and I think uh, just go to face. So if I select this one and we'll just go to UV and select the face. This is the face. Okay. So I have to just go to UV and planner. And as you can see, it's facing in the Y direction. So Y apply. And after that, for a time, I will do one more thing. We'll just on this and you can see stretching quite well. That's why we just have to stretch it out so that the square shape will form and also will decrease the size. Okay. So we'll select all of them, scale it down, select this part, scale it down. Okay. So now go to UV, select all those. We'll go to image and here you have the UV snapshot. Click over here and browse upper roof underscore 001. Save the file and apply and close. Okay. That part has been applied. And after that, next. Okay, we have to just keep this. So I'll just go here and here we have the file. So I just put it in the Photoshop. So we'll just make a new layer or backspace and make here and just put it and we'll go to the texturing folder and now select the roof part exactly. So I will just select this part and we'll put in the Photoshop. We'll just rotate this. So we need now minus 90. Just put it somewhere here. Control T. So right click. Rasterize layer. Select and move. Select and move. Select and move. We'll select all of them, merge layers, take the brush and just start painting it. And after that, what I will do, we'll just go to object mode, select this part and assign new material, Lambert, click over here, go to file, click over here, click here and the upper roof, as you can see, it's forming quite well. So what I will do, I will just select this part, will delete the scene, select this part and we'll go to edit, duplicate special. So I need in the z direction, so 
apply rotate the same you can put whatever you want here so you can put it and now this part so that should be like concrete so we'll go to uv uv editor now i will go to r and just decrease the size and just put it somewhere here this part we need to put it here okay rest is fine i think the top part go to face go to uv this would be fine okay and now we'll select all of them and we'll go to image uv snapshot browse chimney underscore zero zero one save the file go to photoshop put it here make a new layer put it the black color as we have this part this one also so So I have some cement textures, so I will just put the texture. And now, rasterize, delete, control D and the top part so what i will do i will just select this part will move it here and also we'll just take some of the parts like this area so what i will do i will just go to normal click and just make to have the blending so rasterize select the eraser opacity is 33 percent just rub it Okay, rest is fine. I will put it black, no problem. And also, we'll just put this texture over here, somehow here. Control T, right click, flip horizontal, and just put it somehow here. We'll off this black. And just opacity a little bit down. We'll put it here so as you can see uh, we have this part so I will just select this area particularly this area and we'll go here levels increase the level okay fine we'll off this file save as so we'll save in jpg go to maya of this right click object mode assign new material lambert color and file click over here click here and desktop you have the chimney showing okay no problem finally this area uv uv editor
this part need to be corrected make new layer go to the wood texture and let's make some panels so i think this would be fine Ninety. Rasterize eraser one eighty move it here and file save as JPEG. And we'll go to the Maya object mode, assign new material Lambert, and here you have the color file. Click over here. So, as you can see, we have just made this, and I will just put the black part at the top. So, I will just make a, a box here, and now. So as you can see we have just formed this part and one more thing I have to do I just make a box here just select this part which is the top and what I will do I will just go here and just go to here and just go to levels and just decrease the value I think uh, black would be fine yeah so now I will just um, make a copy Now what I will do, I will just go to Maya, select this part, assign new material, Lambert and click over here, click here and panel, the top part we need to uh, just work for the same. So, And now and after that we'll select this part click over here click here and we'll go to the panel Sign new material Lambert click over here go to file click over here we have the panel 
now we'll select this part as i think uh, at first let's have a check is it working or not go to file click and select the this would be I think we have to change the texture okay fine so now what I will do I just select this part control D move it here and shift D okay Select both of them, Control G, Control D, Control G, and to select this. Go to Window, and here you have the outliner, and we'll go down. Here you have the group. So we'll move the pivot by pressing D. Some more here. Rotate the same. Ninety. Control D. Select this. Control D. Control D. I think we have to delete this. Control D. Shift D. And now select this a section control d remove some of here and now we'll select this part Control D So Control G for group that's the hurt region and shift control H for hiding select all those control G for group and after that as you can see the hided parts gets hided up and so we don't require this type of uh, group which uh, doesn't have anything so I will just select this delete 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 and just shift H to unhide the same as you can see we have just formed this so you can do it by yourself control s for saving your file which is very important okay so now you have the idea how you can just texture that particular thing and how you can just work like having an exterior texture so let's continue to the next session